For the graphic of the month, we talk about the secular stagnation with Philippe Darvisney. Hello, Hello, Philippe. Why do we talk today about these secular stagnations that last for a long time? Well, two things. First, uh, the speed of the recovery following the Great Recession of 2008-2009 has been quite disappointing with respect to the past recoveries. And the second thing is that Mr. Larry Summers, a former Secretary of State in the, in the US, uh, made a speech at the IMF in 2013, developing a lot of ideas regarding uh, secular stagnation, and that speech had a big success throughout the world. Now, there are two conceptions to explain the secular stagnation. One is regarding the demand, and the other one regards the supply. Mm -hmm. What is your thought about the supply side? I mean, the idea has been developed, among others, by Mr. Gordon, who is a professor at Northwestern in the US, and he puts uh, a few things uh, in light. First, potential growth could be adversely affected by uh, aging of a population. The fact that the increase in uh, participation rate uh, of women has increased a lot. You cannot do it twice. And third, a slowdown in uh, technical progress that result in a weaker productivity growth than before. I mean, the, the technical progress that happened in the 19th century and early 20th century, combustion engine distribution of electricity and so on and so forth, uh, resulted in a big wave of uh, productivity gains. You see a slowdown in the 80s, uh, despite the fact that computers were spreading. After some time, uh, the computers did increase the productivity gains, but for the last 10 years, let's say, it's faded down again. But what, what about the internet revolution? We saw that late 90s and now again today with all the digital services that spread out. That's where you have a debate because some people, as Mr. Gordon that I quoted, uh, think that this evolution has to do with the construction of consumer good. That is, you substitute a tablet to a computer, you substitute a smartphone to a cell phone, etc., etc., uh, and conse consequently that has no impact on productivity gains. But there is a debate because some people think that we are in a situation like the 80s. There are a lot of innovation, and in the coming decades, these things will materialize uh, with uh, higher productivity gains. At the end of the day, what is the solution? What should we do? No, but I mean, uh, the West, Western countries are confronted with aging and debt, which means we need growth. We need potential growth. Getting potential growth has two uh, in ways. First, you have to increase the labor force in a time of aging, meaning what does it mean? It means postponing retirement age to begin with, or hours of work. And second, it means encouraging innovation, which could have an impact there. Thank you very much, Philippe Darvisney. Next, we talk about India with Joanna Melka.